Imagine having as much as $50 billion invested in roads, bridges, stellings, and other infrastructural projects. That is the amount that has been expended on infrastructural works in Guyana for the year 2023. From the improvement of drainage and irrigation systems to the upgrading of roads and bridges, the environment for economic growth and prosperity is being created. A deliberate attempt has been taken to ensure development is not limited to the capital city, but is spread across the different administrative regions as well. Pomeroon Supana is no exception. Usually known for its agricultural produce, especially rice, the region is abuzz with activity as more businesses expand their operations into communities. Recognizing this, government has set out on an ambitious yet achievable campaign in the region to rehabilitate and construct critical pieces of infrastructure. One such example is the Lima Bridge, a bridge that connects and provides access to residents here in the community of Lima. The Lima Bridge was a very narrow bridge. So because of the um, magnitude of work that is being taken place in our region, uh, persons used to complain that the bridge is too narrow, can cause accidents and, you know, immediately we took that into consideration and we proposed for a new bridge. So definitely um, residents were very pleased because the, the traversing with two trucks now can pass freely because it was very, very narrow. So that will def that definitely um, made an impact in the lives of persons using that bridge and it's on the main public road. The first problem is the traffic used to be a little bit slow. You had to wait and them thing on vehicle and so on. But since them um, look it after and set it up, we're getting a little more speed of flow on the bridge. The bridge was so narrow that vehicles keep jamming on the rail re very regular. Damaging the vehicle. Yeah, you're right, right. Because the, 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 the bridge was so narrow. As you can see, this one far better. I would like to thank the government that they did something good for us. To me, like, you can do something more better now because it extends very well to a, to a width so that everybody could pass, you know? Yeah. Because it went like the before. Bros. There are other massive infrastructural works that have been executed in the region, benefiting hundreds of residents along the Essequibo coast. As you know, Anne Regina here is the um, township of the region. And on business days, the traffic sometimes it's um, very congested. So we have all, like I said, all those big trucks that has the traverse and the cars, minibuses and so. So we decide that we're going to bridge Henrietta to Anne Regina where we have the back roads and you can use those, especially those um, trucks moving with sand and loom and these things rather than um, coming out on the main public road. And when we have the diversion now, the, um, it wouldn't disturb the traffic. It will have a, a free flow of traffic coming in from Henrietta right into connecting to Anne Regina and onwards.